So tell us, uh, how are things going with the company? Give us a little update on ScanScout and, and what you're doing now. Absolutely. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Uh, things are going really well. Uh, you know, company has been around about two years right now. Uh, product launched sometime last year. And uh, in the last uh, uh, you know, six months, for example, uh, we've worked with a lot of brand advertisers, uh, you know, ranging from anywhere from uh, P&G to HBO to Blockbusters to uh, uh, Sony Pictures and 20th Century Fox. Uh, and we've gotten a lot of traction both on the advertiser side as well as on the publisher side. And uh, you know, our product ultimately is a platform that understands online video content and based on the understanding, be able to place uh, the most appropriate ad into the video based on the advertiser's targeting. And uh, so the value proposition for the publishers really is uh, a new way to monetize content, uh, new ways to uh, essentially uh, uh, provide a user-friendly ad. So what we do is that our ad uh, unit is an overlay. So we inject dynamically uh, on the fly uh, an overlay ad underneath the video player if the user clicks on it, it pauses the video play, it pauses the video content. That ad essentially telescopes out into an online video or it pops up into a, a browser. So ultimately, it's about user control, it's about user interaction and engagement. So the value propositions, again, are seamless monetization and ease of monetization for publisher. For advertisers, frankly, uh, is really allowing them to be able to target the audience and target their content and being able to traffic their ad to where the eyeballs are, uh, literally, where someone is really watching uh, the attention is on the video, and uh, we essentially seamlessly show an app. Okay, so let me ask you, the, uh, it's overlays. Tell us about other things that are developing with you guys. Uh, we hear a lot about bugs and tickers and weird names. Yeah. What's, what's kind of available now and what might be on the horizon in terms of uh, ad media? I think, I think one of the reasons why you're hearing sort of different terminology right now is essentially refers to the same unit, uh, you know, bug, ticker, overlay and the like is uh, right now that that unit has not been standardized yet now. It's in the process of being standardized. I think sometime in 08, uh, possibly the first half of 08, uh, you'll see that unit standardized. And I think that would help a long way in terms of even growing the pie, the spending in this particular unit uh, even bigger. Uh, I think, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, from where we see from our standpoint in the market is that uh, pre-roll pre uh, video ads not going to go away. Uh, and, and we don't really compete with pre-roll to the extent that we don't need to displace the pre-roll. It's really up to that decision, it's up to the publisher. Uh, I think what hap what's going on right now is that you see pre-roll uh, is really uh, being used to monetize longer form content, content uh, and professional content. Uh, you have uh, uh, shorter form content or user generated content that's essentially not able to use pre-roll to monetize the content. Overlays work really well. Now at the same time, for professional content that are long form, we are already starting uh, to see data points that some folks have actually opted not to use pre-roll uh, 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 primarily. So if you look at Hulu, Hulu is using, Hulu is monetizing their long form professional content with a, a combination of interstitial ads pre-roll as well as overlay. So I think what you're starting to see is overlay starting to, to, to take a bigger share of the pie in terms of online video ad spending. Okay, so tell us how you guys uh, work in the ecosystem. Do you sell ads? Do you just provide a solution? Tell us, you know, how you, uh, or what kind of positions you take in the online video advertising ecosystem. Absolutely. So, you know, at the base level, we call ourselves an online video ad network. But really, if you scratch the surface a little bit, uh, you know, we are actually an online video ad network that also allows uh, larger publishers, sales force, to sell into their own inventory. Uh, so we have our own direct sales force uh, that essentially you know, sells to the Madison Avenue agencies or the like. Uh, and for large publishers you know, who might have sizable sales force, who might want to say, hey, you know, we want first crack uh, at our video ad, uh, video ad uh, unit, that's fine. We allow them to actually sell into our platform, essentially into the, uh, their inventory. Ultimately, it's really about flexibility and ease of uh, being able to monetize that content. And. Um Tell us a little bit about your funding and your backers. Both, uh, give us a little overview on that and, and, and your new strategic investors. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so we were seed funded back in 2006 by uh, Ron Conway uh, and a number of other angels, which included uh, a number of senior uh, Google executives, uh, ex-Google executives, I should say. Uh, and then we raised our first uh, institutional round, Series A, back in 2007 in March slash April. Uh, it was led by uh, General Catalyst Partners in, in Boston. Uh, Time Warner was a strategic investor uh, in that round. So, so we've raised uh, two rounds of funding up till now. Okay, and one uh, last question. If you talk about publishers that are sort of the, uh, uh, you know, notable, if you will, or 
tell us some of your some of the publishers that are using ScanScout and, and and a little bit about how it's being implemented. Absolutely. So unfortunately, uh, the uh, the majority of the major publishers that we have right now, uh, we are uh, we've brought on board recently. Uh, uh, we do not have the uh, the right to publicly name them yet, but I'll give you a couple of names. Uh, you know, we've worked with just the longest standing ones, uh, the mid-sized ones, and fast growing. Uh, you know, include folks like. Uh, you know, Daily Comedy, uh, uh, Blip.tv, uh, some of you uh, uh, would know them fairly well. Uh, we have a number of big publishers that we just launched over the last uh, uh, four months, essentially, uh, you know, uh, in the social media space as well as in the professional media space that, uh, uh, that you know, a household name, names, essentially. And we've got a number of others uh, in the first half of 08 that we're going to be launching soon that's going to dramatically increase our stream count. Awesome. And uh, you guys insert these overlays into... Um a flash file? Is it also inserted into other files, like downloadable files, QuickTime? Or... Yeah, so right now we actually play it agnostic. Uh, so that's one of the difference between us and other folks who are monetizing online video. So obviously we're able to work with Flash Player. Uh, we are actually agnostic in the sense that we could work with Windows, Win Windows Media Player, QuickTime, uh, as well as Real, and uh, as well as any other, any other format like Div DivX as well. Uh, we do not do download today. Uh, that doesn't mean that we won't do download down the road, uh, but right now our con we concentrate our effort primarily in streaming video.